All right guys, today we're gonna to be working on this Bentley Bentayga and it's the same on the Lamborghini Urus. The check engine light begins flashing and then this means that it's a serious fault and you should recommend stopping the vehicle and then you will get on the screen a warning to go to Bentley workshop. And let me see what we got. Once we're outside the car, I don't know if you can hear that, but we're getting a little bit of a whistle. Then let's go ahead and put our microphone in there so you can hear. All right, so. The fault code that we got is air leak and miss multiple misfires. Uh, those multiple misfires um, are all on one bank though. So we're gonna take it apart and see what we get. Okay, so then to get to it, I don't think you need to take the top cover off the air box, although this does need an air filter badly, uh, but you need to take off these screws here and this will pull up and off. This is just pop down on there and we're gonna do that now. What we're going to do is pull these back out of the way, and then pull this up, pull this one back out of the way. Pull that up there. Okay, great. Now this is going to tip up and slide back. It slides on the back there. These two little points there, super easy. Okay, so there's the two points where it slides on the back. And then these are the two pop down areas that those push down on. And these are the two inlets to the turbos that we we're taking off. The pipe that you're trying to replace is right here under here. So you might need to take this off to do that. You take this panel off, it just pulls up. This panel, it just pulls up. There's a Torx that goes in here, a T30, a T30, and then two T30s here and here and here and there. And this will easily slide out of the way. I don't think we need to take it off though. I'm gonna try to squeeze this clamp loose here. So a little trick for that there is very carefully, you see that there? And then very carefully slip this down here and pry this way. Just be careful because if you put pressure on it too much in any direction, you may break it. And so be very careful. If you need, if you don't feel comfortable with that, just take this all off and you can rotate the pipe and get better access to those two plugs. Now the next thing is this fitting here. That fitting is a five point star and it is something that I actually have not seen on a car before this car and I don't really understand the purpose. The threads are normal threads on the other side of that, but there on the top, we cannot access it without that special tool, which I do not have. And so I don't care. I'm just gonna break it, break it off. Nothing too violent here. I'll show you what I mean. Um, hopefully you can see this area there. We're just gonna take a chisel, place it on the edge facing the the left direction and we're just going to chisel till it bites down in there making sure putting down just enough pressure so that it doesn't slip off but still directional pressure to get it to turn now we've got that to turn and we're going to replace this with a regular torx bit because it's very much pointless to have this special fitting in there when you don't need it and you don't have the tool. Make sure if you drop anything in this tube after you remove it, that you fish it out from in there and look with a mirror or look through here to make sure it can't contact the turbo blades because if it does, it will ruin that turbo and maybe even the entire engine or at least that half of the that head on that side. Okay, now what we're gonna do, oh goodness, is we're going to remove the pipe. So now a way to test this, this tube is on both sides. Over here, it's up top. Over here, it goes from there and curves around. You see the same diaphragm into the same oil separator. So it's a little different looking tube, but basically what we can do to test it is we can blow through it and we can suck through it. That diaphragm, it has an arrow right there, meaning air should only go that way, when I blow in it, it should stop. So we're gonna go ahead and chuck that. Got it, right here. Watch this. 
doesn't blow. So you can actually look inside of there and see the blue diaphragm inside of it. And in the old one, you can see there's a white diaphragm that goes around half of it, but it, you can see that it's broken on that bottom half there, or now top half there. So that's it. We're gonna put that in, screw it in, and be done. Oh, nice and smooth operation and no flashing light. That's the key that we're looking for there.